New ways of learning. In international tests of maths, science, and reading, students in Finland do well. This is good news. But when you look more carefully at the schools, it's not easy to explain. Finnish students don't start school until they are seven years old. The school day is short, about five hours, and there are only three or four classes a day. Students don't have much homework, and there are no exams. So why don't they do badly in tests? Perhaps something else can explain it. There is another unusual feature of schools in Finland. For most of us, the school timetable is a list of subjects. For example, ICT, history, foreign languages, geography, with one lesson following another. But some experts believe our brains work in a different way. They say our brains don't divide our learning into subjects. Our brains learn better when they get new information in context. This is why some Finnish schools don't teach subjects separately. Instead, they give students a project, such as the weather, and then bring school subjects into the project. So, how do some experts believe we learn most easily? Here's an example of a project with a class of twelve-year-olds. Students watch a video reenactment of the end of the city of Pompeii. Then, on their laptops, they compare ancient Italy under the Romans with modern Finland. Groups look at different parts of the topic and then share their ideas. They also use three D printers to make a tiny Roman building. Later, they use the pieces of the building for a game. This project includes history, ICT, and design and technology. Track thirty nine. Clarissa's blog, the thirty first of July, twenty eighteen. A few years ago, I wasn't very happy at school, and I wasn't doing well in tests. So when I was eight, Mum and Dad decided to teach me at home. Homeschooling, great! I thought I could stay in bed all day. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite like that. My parents found out what I needed to learn. Sometimes I had lessons. But most of the time, I studied things I liked and found interesting. That's how homeschooling works best. My favorite hobby was playing computer games. So, with Dad's help, I began to write my own computer programs. But I liked making models too, and for that, I needed maths. At school, maths was boring. But now it was useful for making my models. I made a model boat, and I needed to understand science and maths to do that. Oh, and design and technology too. So, were there any bad things about homeschooling? Not really. I missed my friends, but I saw them at weekends, and we talked about school. They told me about their week at school, and I told them about mine. Mine always seemed more fun to me. Some weeks I studied more than they did. Other weeks I didn't study much at all, and I never had homework. I'm fifteen now, and I'm back at school because I need to take exams. I don't mind. It's nice to study with my friends again. Track forty-one. And now it's time for what's new. This week we have Ethan Grant, who's thirteen, joining us from Bali in Indonesia. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Ava. So, Ethan, I read your blog. Could you tell us about it? Yes, it's called World Schooling. Is that like homeschooling? Okay. Well, um, basically, yes, it is. But school isn't at home; it's the world. 
Right. Tell us from the beginning. OK, that was two years ago. My sister Ruth and I were doing OK at school. Mum lost her job and Dad loved travelling. So one day, our parents said to us, we're taking you out of school for a year and we're going to see the world. Ruth and I thought it was a great idea. A big change for your parents. <laughs> what did your family and your neighbours think? They all thought Mum and Dad were mad. <laughs> so what happened next? Mum and Dad planned things carefully. They sold the house and lots of their things. Then they bought a camper van and we left. So what about your schooling? Mum and Dad taught us things each week. They got material off the internet. But the big thing about world schooling is that travelling is an education in itself. So many subjects connect when you are in a new place. You learn about the history of a place, its geography, its language or languages, and you need maths when you are using the money. Ruth and I have been to lots of countries, met so many amazing people, and learned so much about the world. Hmm. How long have you been in Bali? Actually, we've been here nearly a year. I wanted to go to school, so I asked if we could stay. I need exams to go to university. Mum and Dad like it here in Bali. They've got a little hotel and I go to an international school. Perfect. <laughs> so do you like being at school again? Yes, I do. I've made lots of new friends. Schoolwork is fine. In fact, I worked much harder when I was travelling. Ruth's homeschooled, but she's going to come to my school next year. Thanks, Ethan. Good luck. Bye. Bye.